Alright, so you clicked on today's video because you want to know how to edit faster on controller. Well, don't worry because this is the perfect video for you. And I'm going to be including many tips in today's video. And in one point, I'm going to include this secret tip that will absolutely double your edit speed. I can promise you that. So if your friends are ever making fun of you because you can't edit as fast as them, well, don't worry. Watch this whole video all the way to the end. Find that secret tip. And I guarantee you, you'll learn how to double edit faster than ever before. This guide will include how to remove input delay, reduce your edit delay, build and edit way faster, and you might even gain some more FPS with some of the methods I show you. Yes, this also works on console, and it also works for PC players too. But quickly guys, drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or nothing, nothing will happen. I just appreciate it a lot, so please do it. Also, if you'd like to support me, please use my creator code in the item shop, W-H-O-O-D-S, hashtag ad, I'd appreciate that a lot. But other than that guys, let's jump straight into the tips. So I'm now going to show you what my editing looks like before I use these tips. As you can see, my editing speed is honestly pretty bad and isn't anything too special. And now these are what it looks like after you use these settings. As you can see, there's a big difference and I'm way faster now. And no, this is not a macro, this is genuine, so keep watching throughout the whole video. Now when it comes down to editing, of course there are secret tips that can increase your editing speed, but first of all, you all need to start out with this warm-up map, as we do actually need to practice and get better in our own skills. Now the reason why this map is so revolutionary is because it actually has these glitched edits where they're actually way closer together than ever before. As you can see here, every single edit is way closer than a normal floor would usually be. This allows you to edit way faster and practice at a way more intensity speed, which overall means when it comes back to editing a normal tile, you're going to be way faster. As you can see, it gets pretty intense, but if you can handle these sort of levels, then when you go back to editing normal speeds, you'll find it so much easier editing way faster. And forget to mention, it also has wall edits, so you can even practice your Dorito edits. But most importantly, before we actually get into the tips of today's video, this is the last thing, it is actually edit 1v1s. Now as you can see, you can actually race your friends in this map, showing who's got the faster editing speeds and competing against each other. As you can see, you want to practice going down as fast as you can, and whoever gets to the bottom is actually the fastest. I would suggest going down to the comment section and commenting your username and trying to get people to 1v1 so you can practice. Alright, great. Now that we actually know how to actually improve and actually warm ourselves up, let's actually get into some secret tips you may want to take advantage of. Okay, so now you know actually how to actually practice and warm up, let's actually talk about some secret settings that you might have not known about that actually reduce your input delay and make you edit faster overall. The first one is going to be at the title screen here. It actually matters which one you choose, and actually creative is always the best option to choose as it gives you the best ping and best FPS as it thinks you're loading into creative match even if you're going to use it in a public match. From there, did you actually know when you go to play a game of Fortnite, you actually have to fetch extra data if you don't use a default skin and you use one bought from the item shop. Therefore, by using a default skin, you can actually get less input delay as you don't have to fetch any other data as a game is already built around the default skins and it gives you faster edits. Next up, I know not everyone has the best ping, so you can actually sort this and practice on zero ping all the time by simply entering a custom matchmaking key before going into creative. This means that you host your games from a LAN connection rather than connecting to Epic Games' servers. You're hosting it from your computer or your console, so you'll get zero ping as you're connecting to your own internet. Also, if you use this supporter credit code, it actually doubles your editing speed. Don't know why, but hashtag ad. Now, of course, I'm only joking, guys, but we can actually now talk to you about some of the secret tips that literally nobody knows, and this is the first time I'm ever teaching my fans about them. So when it comes to creative, I would always suggest playing on a normal grid flat location rather than loading up any one of those creative neon islands as they always cause you way more input delay and lag, making you edit way less fast. So make sure you always use an empty map that has nothing on it as it actually gives you the best input delay, allowing you to actually edit at your maximum potential. Next up, coming into your settings and making sure that your replays are always turned on to off for all of them as this means that your game will never be recording anything in the background, giving you way better input delay allowing you to edit faster and now if you're wondering what input delay is and why is it so important basically what it is is when you click a button on your controller as you can see on the image of my controller reflecting up to the screen as soon as i click that button how it actually reflects on my game the distance between that is input delay and now if it's bad then you can't edit very fast and it will scuff up some of your edits however if it's small then it's going to be perfect and you can edit faster and now i'm going to teach you how you can fix that 
A little secret for you console players is actually to turn your subtitles off, as for some reason this is a thing that sometimes pops up in game, and for some reason it runs in the background, causing you console players to get way more lag, and that's the only thing you can do to give yourself better input delay. But if you want some secret settings to actually double your editing speed, listen up right now. So as you can see, I actually use left stick to edit and switch mode as B. Now it doesn't matter what you use, but make sure you have something on your controller as switch mode slash edit. As you can see here, I have my D-pad binded to switch mode slash edit. It can be a button that you don't use whatsoever, but for some reason having this binded to something actually allows Fortnite to give you better input delay. Just try it out for yourself and trust me, it works. Alright, so now this is for the secret tip you guys have all been waiting for on today's video. Trust me, it's been worth your wait and you're about to learn how to edit at the like speed of a macro on a controller. So you're going to go over to your settings as you can see here and you're going to go ahead and change circle or B to edit. Once you've done this, you're going to go over to your edit controls and you're going to change triangle or Y to your select button. So all you have to do is scroll up and find it. And then you can put your left stick or any other button as switch mode. Now by looking at the controller on the side of the screen, as you can see, I slide my finger across, as you can see, and this actually edits the tile. Now you can actually hit these buttons pretty much at the same time, and it'll actually spam edit these things just like a macro would, and you'll be editing so fast it's ridiculous. Now I would highly recommend you actually start to use this in your montage, as everyone's going to think you're actually macroing on a controller, when in reality you're actually just using one of my tips. So make sure to subscribe for more console tips in future, as I'm always giving them out, and they're completely free on my channel, and all you have to do is subscribe so you you can see them every time I upload. I'm usually uploading new controller settings that give you aimbot or helping you edit faster. So definitely make sure to consider subscribing if you are on console. Also make sure to smash the like, I'd appreciate that so much. And make sure to follow my Twitter if you'd like to stay more updated with me and get more active. That'll all be linked in the description, so go crazy and give me a follow. But other than that guys, I guess I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.